LTC, we start with one hour chart. First of all, if we refer to our analysis in my last video when the price was exactly here, I mentioned if you want to look for buy, we have to wait for the correction as a deeper correction and draw similar to what I drew. Okay, what we see here, but we didn't have any trade set up for buy. And even beside that, I was mentioning if we want to buy, where are we going to buy this? I mean, in terms of the risk and reward, that's why I mentioned it's not really good trade setup. By the way, we didn't have any trade setup and we get the down move. That's mean right. No, no one should buy at this level. They shouldn't, they should, no one should be in the trade. Okay, because we didn't have any trade setup. And this is the reasons when I was analyzing, I was keep highlighting that buying at this is not really good. And I mentioned I, I, we have to get the confirmation. And as we can see, the price dropped. And the price broke the previous low. If you put this one in relative to this, we are not caring about this shadow, all right? If we refer to the indicators, we see that we have a divergence. Okay, that means, can we look at this as a one, two, three, at least as a flat? No, we wanna see how we can look for trade. First, I prefer to move to daily chart. We wanna see what we are based on daily chart. As we can see, based on daily chart, the price is almost at the top, okay? And now if we want to look for buy, we need to be really careful because we have seen every time the price broke the previous top, it came up with a deeper correction. Can we expect this one turn to a deeper correction? All right, this is where first things we need to be careful. I mean, we need to be really careful about that. And if we refer to the indicators, MACD doesn't show me the, show me the divergence, but based on the other indicators I have it. That's why I need to be quite careful about it. if I'm going to trade, I need to have a look for proper trade setup that can give me confirmation. And if we move to forward chart, right now with what we're looking at, we're looking at the one, two, three, for one move up, we look for this one. Okay, that's mean if I get any reversal within this range, I will be more interested to look for buy. What's the reason we are more interested to look for buy? Because if, if we move to one over chart, similar to what I explained to my last in my last video, First of all, when the price was within this, the way was moving, it was corrective. And I mentioned if you want to look for buy from here, what is the target? The highest price was around here. What, the, what was the highest price? 413, okay. If we're going to buy at here, based on the analyze, based on the chart we have, we can expect the price at least to break this top. This is what we're going to look for. Because after that, we, if, if even if there is a breakout, we don't know how high it can go because the highest price is 413 and what we are going to do, look for risk where we wanted to put our uh, stop loss here and this is the risk in terms of the risk and reward there was no good trade setup the risk is more than reward that's why i mentioned it's not a really good trade setup but why i'm interested to look for buy here if i get any buy any correction any flag i will take the trade why my risk my stop loss will be somewhere around here and this is what i'm going to look for my reward is two times of my risk roughly. That's why I'm interested. That's mean we try to take those trades that can give us at least one to one in terms of the risk and reward. Okay, but how about, I don't know, so maybe some of the traders and they put the, their stop loss either below here or here, but we're looking at the, this move with the correction for the next move. It depends on their management. Okay, and what I described here is just for the traders from the beginner and onward because I want to see everyone know how we're looking and what we're looking for. That's mean whenever we want to take the trade, what we more uh, for, beside the analysis, we need to know what we are going to get and what we are going to risk. All right, for me, right now we can look at this one as a flat, and I see the divergence. That's mean if we, I get any reversal from here, I will be look for. It doesn't mean the price have to reverse. May we get the correction here for the one more drop. But right now we don't have any trade setup for either for buy or sell. But what I can see is that any reversal for buy, continuation flag, I will take the trade. First of all, I have a flat. Second, I see the divergent. Third, in terms of the risk and reward. But if I see the continuation reversal as a corrective move, then from there we need to consider whether we can look for sell or not and how deep it can be. But for buy, any reversal with the flag or correction, I will take the trade and I expect for the continuation as a sharp move, not the corrective move. If it tends to a corrective, 
we take out the trade. Maybe we could give an example similar to what we get here. Sharp move, correction, this is what we get. So all the times you cannot get this kind of the move, but at least the move that can give us a confirmation for continuation, at least we can start to manage our trade move or stop loss to break even. Not the corrective move that we get the trade, then start to correct similar to what I draw here. All right. Anyway, we're looking for the reverse on any trade setup for buy. We will be more interested to look for. In this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thank you.